Before we test these masks, we need to understand why better mass is more important now with Delta than before. Let's take a minute to hear from Biden COVID advisor Andy Salvat and viologist Peter Hotez from the Bayer College of Medicine. Mask quality, and this probably applies more than just to kids. Does, does mask quality matter more because of Delta and this, this notion that there are a thousand times more particles? Yeah, I mean, what we're talking about is reducing inhalation dose. And if we've got uh, you know, whether it's more particles in the air or more infectious virus, whatever it is, we want less of those things getting into our respiratory system. We need to double down, triple down, quadruple down on reducing our inhalation dose. And even if everybody's wearing relatively mediocre masks, so let's say that the infector is wearing a mask, the infected individual that reduces 40% of their emissions, right? Uh, and your child is wearing a mask that is only effective at removing 40% of the particles that would otherwise go into the respiratory system. That 40 and 40 combination gives you a 64% reduction in inhalation dose. And that's with pretty mediocre masks, right? That's masks that have you know, not good materials or, or they're good masks that, that fit poorly. And if you go to something like 8080, you don't even have to get anywhere close to an N95. At 8080, you get 96% reduction in inhalation dose if everybody's wearing good masks. This test is on, is called the candle test. The person who came up with the candle test, she works at Stanford and her name is, is Dr. Amy Rice. So the first one is the gator mask. And the gator mask, um, let me just put it on. Even if, it, if you put it like this, first of all, it's not gonna stay. And second of all, stuff can still go up your nose. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna blow, not moving my head and see what the candle does. <sighs> And so some people are like, oh, I'll just put two on. Okay. I mean, my head. <sighs> okay, so it still makes a pretty big reaction for the first one. And I have to say the second one. So the cloth mask is my technically my favorite mask. This is what it looks like. These are definitely more like a kid mask. Also again, make sure it's over your nose. And one nice thing, really nice thing about cloth masks is they're actually able to be washed. So you're able to use them over and over again, which makes them a very environmentally friendly. So here we go. Because it did make a little reaction, the best mask should not make a reaction at all. So we're gonna give the cloth, just the cloth plus. And by the way, this is the two cloth mask. So here's the second cloth mask. A plus plus. Okay, it's pretty close. So this one also is nice. It has like this little thing that most some cloth masks I don't don't have. And make sure you pinch and push down, and make sure it's over your nose, of course. as uh, just a one plush. I wear these to school because people at my school get tested. I definitely recommend if like you've got your round people who are often often enough that you feel comfortable. Of, get, of course, if you're going, if you're traveling or if you're just going somewhere really busy, this is not the right mask for you for that situation. So a surgical mask is what you see patients wear. So when I sometimes go and get tested and we go to this like, place like doctor offices and stuff. They ask us to wear this mask. Another nice feature of this mask, it does also have a little nose thing so you're able to bend it to your nose shape somewhere. And let's put it on. As you see, this is an adult mask. This is not fitting me at all. So what you do is if you want to, you can scrunch it up and then, so it looks like this. So really, let me show it one more time. So just like that, you scrunch up into a little ball and then you take it and then you just kind of not when you turn it and then you just kind of, in a way, thread it through and push it to the bottom. And then boom, you have a scrunched up mask. And now I'm gonna do the other side. So yours in and then of course you scrunch it. Make sure it's over your nose by the way. 
and then push down while you're scrunching it. This makes sure it gets over your face. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. So K95s are super big. K95s are actually meant for grown-ups. So if you're a kid, this might not be the best option. But they have made kids. One feature that really points out the K95 and make you know it's a K95 is that it's pointy. And when you put it on, so for instance, this, push it down, it's pointy. And by the way, if you do see holes here, that does not affect it. That is just holding the fabric together. The KF94s. KF94s come in three sizes. My dad wears large, my mom wears medium, and I wear small. And one distinct knowing that it's a K94 is they're actually flat. So when you put, me put, when you put it on, it is not pointy. So, see it's not pointy. So if you want something maybe it fits your face a little better, I recommend K94s. And um, I wore these uh, like a few days ago all the time because we actually traveled to Dominican Republic, which is very humid and hot. And we wore these and the whole entire time and they didn't really get sweaty or gross. They were quite nice. Yes, again, make sure it's over your nose. I want to, you want to pull it down and pull the under so it fits perfectly. Also, I recommend don't touching this part, just touching this part because you want to keep the mouth looking pretty. Okay, here we go. N95s, and you see like hospital workers wearing these and the so it's really nice because here there they have this like this little um padding and it's not the side things on the ears it goes over your whole entire head okay so it's very okay so so just put it on and we're gonna pinch and push down it did no movement, I used to be able to see. Plus, plus. Okay, so now we are done with the candle test. We're gonna move on to the water test. <gasps> so this isn't a minus. Oh, guys. Is there a leak? So two gears also failed us. Oh. <gasps> See? This is gonna work. Yeah. What other fail film? Oh, we might find a winner, everyone. Look how well that can hand hold it. But we'll see the bottom. It's not even like wet. Plus, plus. I'm nervous about this. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna have to give this one a plus. Plus. I'm expecting this one to work. That's my estimate. That's so we're gonna have to give that one. Plus, plus. The game has worked for nothing. Um, cloth, all like the cloth ones did not work for water, but they did work for um, the candle test. So there you have it. I hope I was helpful in showing you what kind of mask to wear.